Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your TSC7 to use Trimble Installation Manager to update either a 986 rover head or R780. And the way you know what you have is the number on the bottom. This one's an R780. It also has the gray dome on it. If you have a 986, it'll have a white dome on the bottom on the top, but it'll also just tell you what it is on the bottom. I'm going to show you how to do an update on this for a couple reasons. One, for a new version, and two, if the software is going to go out and it's been upgraded or needs to be upgraded, it just needs to communicate between the two. What you're going to need out of your case, out of your yellow case, is a fresh battery for the rover head, your battery up just enough, at least on the data collector. The cable that comes with it that has the connection for a USB port and the port that goes into the 986 or the 780. The most important thing also is having the internet. So you can see on mine right here, I have connected to the local internet here. If you don't have the internet or Wi-Fi on here, you can use your hotspot from a phone or you can use um, an air card if you have in there. What you need to do is go ahead and turn on your receiver head, just get it initializing. And it's okay if you're in a building, it's not needing to hook up to satellites. So you open this port and pull this off. Go ahead and pop the cap off of this. Now be really careful when you're putting this in. There's only one way that it'll go and it's got a little mark right here on the side and it lines up with the red dot right here. Go ahead and put this in. Just set this down and let it be to the side. Go ahead and plug in to the data collector. And then on the main screen here, or if it's not been pulled to your main screen, go ahead and search for Installation Manager through your uh, search button here. But if it's on your main screen, just double tap it and open it. It'll ask you, do you want this to make changes to your device? Just say yes. But just make this connection between the two, have that on there again, make sure your battery isn't too low, and then go ahead and open that up. So on the left side right here, there's a bunch of different options. You can either be updating the TSC7 or other things in here, but right now we want to leave it on the receiver. And on the right side on the bottom here, there's a connect option. If you touch connect, it will give you different port options on here. The different port options are basically what you're connected into, but you can see right here, since I used the actual factory connection type, it comes with up with COM21 Trimble USB. All you do is go ahead and hit OK. And because this is connected to the internet, this is going to look, based on serial number for whatever device you're connected to, it's going to compare that serial number to Trimble's um, servers and see any updates that are possible for that 986 or R780. Sometimes this takes a minute to go ahead and retrieve the system data and uh, also however fast your internet is. So it's looking for licenses that are available for it. Um, if anything was added to your 986 or your R780, like tilt compensating or a base code, if any of that stuff is added in the future, um, you can go ahead and retrieve it from here. It'll be through the server, Trimble server, basically added as an option that can be thrown on there. So all you need to do at this point is if your data collector, or excuse me, your receiver needs an update, you can see in the top right what updates are available, what version it can go to. Right now, as of uh, 6.12.2023, we've got 6.20 as the highest. But regardless of the latest release, if there's any software updates that need to be, or excuse me, um, updates in the, uh, the coding or the, the time frame of your one year or end of life, that's what updates here. Once it's made that connection and you've found the latest reversion, all you need to do is hit install in the bottom right here. My particular rover head here has been updated relatively recently, so it's probably not going to take quite as long on this one but if you have one that needs a full update it's going to it's going to update after it downloads and then it's going to turn off your receiver head to power cycle it at the very end so mine didn't take very long it says your device is up to date and ready for use there again yours may take a little bit longer on the progress bar don't worry about that it let it go through the whole process and don't worry if it loses connection on here at the end 
because it will power cycle the receiver here, turn it on and off, and then it'll want you to reconnect if you need to. But once it's done, it's done. You hit the finish in the bottom right here, and it will automatically close out of Installation Manager. One key thing to do though when you pull this port out, um, it's just like the back side of the base stations for the power. Don't yank on the cable right here. If you haven't done this before, you've got the little trip butt button right here, the trip wire. This one slides down that in there and releases it. So make sure that you pull back softly because inside here has really, really small copper prongs that can get broke. But that is how you update uh, your receiver head through Trimble Installation Manager. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain, uh, SiteWorks training videos.